cheerio. Bonjour. See, I'm struggling with this whole live thing. I need to get our girl into the photo. So look. I was out doing some gardening. You know, I pull weeds and all that stuff. And I actually get genuine pleasure out of it. And I started thinking. And I got very frustrated. And I assume I probably will be alone during this entire time, but that's okay. Shannon Watts. What happened to her was horrendous. Do I need a light on this? I mean, horrendous. You think about what her family went through. I can't even imagine. And, oh my goodness. Thank God. Thank goodness that uh, Chris Watts was not my brother-in-law. See, I, it's all backwards. I can't figure that. I'm just about too dumb for this stuff. So if I go this way, I go that way, I go that way. I don't get it. Anyway, I, I want our girl in, in the screen. Anyway, let me get a tissue. Excuse me a moment. Oh, look at that. I've got Gail, Myra, and Sarah here. See, which way do I go? Thank you. Do we have a heated seat out here for the winter time? Maria. My girl Maria, who's been with me for many, many, many years. I sent her a text just four minutes ago. I thought, I said, hey, I'm going to do a crazy live. Hop on so I'm not alone. Here's Jerry. Hello, Fallon. Fallon Brown. I love your name, Fallon. I actually considered it at one point. But then I had a son who, um, we won't go into that. But we now call her Ashley. <laughs> anyway, Maria just made a good point. Shannon was, she had flaws, many, many, many flaws. And the way she tried to handle that was acting like everything was perfect. And Gail, thank you. I know I'm not dumb. It's just a, uh, it's something I do. Hello, Kelly. So guys, I love the Royal News Network and she does lives every Saturday, but I don't really watch them because she's talking to all of you guys so much. But, oh, and we have to interrupt one more time. Kelly Snyder is a new subscriber, so thank you. Hey, Kelly, I would do a lot more work, but for whatever reason, YouTube won't pay me. They're finding an issue with my taxes. My man and I are going to go on and try to change it to his tax information, and we just figured this out recently. Anyway, Shannon had issues. I struggle with anyone who lies so much. Prince Harry just married that little twit. Oh, I won't, I won't say her name. If you watch me, you know I won't say her name. That girl expected everything to be sunshine and happiness the moment the ring was on her finger. Okay, well, I believe Shannon did the same thing. Shannon dated... Hi, Sarah. Shannon dated Chris for about six weeks, and then she found out he had $20,000 in his savings account. Oh, my goodness, $20,000. Hey, Sarah, if you keep watching, excuse me, my nose is itchy. It's this, all these allergies. It's not the allergies like you and I think. It's I have so many politicians around me. It's political allergies. Sarah, I have a funny story about Boston. But Shannon met him, and she found out he had 20 k in his savings, and she thought, oh, my goodness, I've hit the jackpot. No, you have not. Hello, Earth Angel. You know, they wrote a song about you once. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, da-da-da-da. Hi, Dragon Chaser. She thought that because it's a single man and he had put that much, she'd really scored. Whereas in her previous marriage, she claimed to have put him all the way through law school. Well, damn. If I put a man through law school, I'm going to hang out and reap the benefits of that. I mean, if I really feel like that's Betty Broderick. Betty Broderick felt like she did all this work so Dan could achieve his prosperity. And then once he did, he dumped her. And that's a whole different subject. I've done videos about that, but I'm obsessed with Betty Broderick, so if you want me to talk to her, talk about her again, I will. But Shannon was working at 
a children's hospital. She was ready. The telephone person. If you're like me and you don't look, I have the banana telephone. But now, it's, nowadays, it should be the telephone person, where you just put your whole palm to their head. That's what her job was. She worked the overnight shift. Well, that pays two and a half dollars more. They had no real responsibilities. And they had just purchased a house, a five bedroom house, and it was only the two of them. Uh, it says Sarah Marine, but Sarah, with the way my glasses work, I just got my new progressives. And apparently it takes about a week to learn. I thought it said Sarah Munchausen. I was like, no, 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 we're not talking about Shannon's Munchausen by proxy because she absolutely did have that. And, oh, my goodness, give me your thoughts. But I don't even think there's non-evidential doubt. I mean, the evidence is all there. But she, within three months of meeting him, she quipped her, quit her job, quipped, quit her job at Dirty South. Okay, well, for the previous three years, according to Frankie, Frankie, I hope you're well. I mean, you spent a lot of time two or three years ago putting your, yourself and your trolls all over my channel, and you told me how ugly I am, and I have fish lips, and that doesn't, doesn't really work with people who are over, I want to say the age of 14, but today it's a little bit different. Uh, Maria reminded me, Shannon worked the call center. She didn't have, she wasn't a nurse. She wasn't even an RA or a, a nurse's assistant, maybe an NA. I, don't, I think it's called something different. But Shannon put herself out there as something she absolutely was not. From the very first day they met until, oh my goodness, when the horror happened. Every time she was online, she was lying. I'm thinking about this more because of Jada Pinkett Smith, who I've now learned was in the movie The Matrix, which I don't, I don't even know what The Matrix is. I mean, you guys make fun of me all you want. I don't give two craps, yeah, as if I was farting about Hollywood. I really, really don't. My life and my inner being are so much better. I hope that... The strike lasts forever. She was under investigation there. A woman 30 or 28 years old at the time with no education, and I do not mean that derogatory, in a derogatory way. You don't need a college degree to prove yourself. It's your brain. Kelly Snyder, thank you for saying I'm beautiful. That's a little bit extreme. I don't think I'm ugly looking at all. I keep myself in shape. It, anyway. There's no way she's making that much money unless fraud is going on. You know, she's driving a, a big old Suburban. I believe, well, I'm not sure if she got into Fords more with Chris. Now, some of you women, you're going to sit here and go, oh my goodness, don't care. My father was a Ford guy, so I grew up with Fords, and then I met Ashley's father, and he was a Chevy guy. And my father joked that he would take me out of the will because I went to Chevys. And now, all these decades later, I'm still a Chevy girl. I drive a Chevy. What is it? Oh, a Chevy Malibu. You know what the most part, important part about my Chevy is? It's paid off. <laughs> Shannon got herself into this boat. Okay, Army of One said she only worked from home when they had a house phone and went to the hospital twice a month. Jenny Deeds got her the job. Okay, Army of One, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I have never heard ever that she answered the phones from home. If that had happened post the fake pandemic that Dr. Fauci put on us, I would say, okay, definitely. But... Mm, I don't know. And Myra, if your father is still alive, tell him he's brilliant. Do you know what Ford stands for? Oh, my goodness. 
on a quiet night at rest. I can't even remember. Ford. Oh, it'll come back. It'll come back. But on a quiet night, you can hear Ford rust. Put it that way. She... Okay. I've... Look, I'm a little lost. It's Whiskey Wednesday. But I'm just sitting here. I'm cleaning the litter box. And I take the little dust buster to the stairs. And I'm sitting here thinking, uh, okay, I'm going to back up again. I had two or three nasty, nasty emails in the last one week. And I have not put a uh, video about Shannon Watts in a few weeks. And I mean... The one comment said, I hope you're dead tomorrow. And, okay, that doesn't... Well, I say it doesn't really bother me. Well, it didn't bother me, but it did get into my subconscious. And I'm doing the dust busting the stairs, and I have three freaking cats running around me, and the dog freaking out. And I just started thinking, maybe I should go online and make a video about how awesome my life is. And if you send me $68 a month, but you're better off if you send me $112 a month, your life will be just as great as mine is. I think that's what bothers... Danine Too Fabulous, Ford, fix or repair daily. Thank you. Oh, in this case, no guns will go. <laughs> I was so tacky. I'm sorry. Uh... It bothers me so much how these MLM women are lying, and they know they're lying. They absolutely know that they're trying to get their friends to spend three hours a week and sit at the pool and do this and make $1,400 a month and then go to our awesome parties two or three times a year that you actually have to pay $2,000 to get to. I've told you guys knew I had a career. I was actually a real person in the world before I became a simple mailman, which is the best job I've ever had. I I went to Toronto. I went to San Francisco. I went to Paris one time. You want to know what I didn't do when I was there? I didn't bring my wallet. I mean, I did, but I didn't have to pay for a single thing. Hold on, hold on. I think we have a hater. Oh, okay, no. Sarah, I told you, you look like Sarah Munchausen, and I could only see the end. She said, what a terrible thing to say. You know what, I don't care if I had 19 warts on my face and I was 700 pounds. Why tell someone they're ugly? That just, why? To make yourself feel better. Okay. It troubles me so much. If any of you, okay, I am not on Facebook. Every once in a while, I'll get an email. My girlfriend Maria just said something a little naughty, and I'm surprised I'm not blushing. Well, I am blushing a little bit. I'll tell you a second. But I'll get an email that said, Oh, I sent you this on Facebook. Okay, well, I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> Why should the world need to know what I'm doing, especially the government? But Facebook is a platform to make other people think you're better than they are. Seth Amsberg, I've only read the first few words of your comment, but it seems appropriate now. She used her kids to push her parents into assisting with her mortgage. Okay, well, she absolutely did that. She also used her kids to sell her snake oil, just like I did with my live feeds and little David when we were trying the snake oil. You can see how she would punish Chris's parents by threatening them not to see them after the peanut door. Shannon did that from the very beginning. Her parents weren't at the wedding. Okay, so look. If any of you all are going to get married soon and your future spouse, man, woman, dog, furry, whatever the hell people are marrying these days, and they're not going to invite their parents to the wedding can understand maybe not inviting a sibling they've had issues but if your parents are not coming to the wedding there's something wrong can you think of another wedding 
Well, shoot. Man, it's been five years now. I believe Harry and the Twit got married in 2018. Her parents weren't there. Well, her mother was there. Her mother. Out of everyone she's ever known in her life, she had one person there. You know, if, I'll sidestep for a moment. Harry's wife did some podcast recently. And the, she was being I, interviewed by a group of Nigerian women. And towards three quarter of the end, she said, well, I have something to tell you. I just did my DNA. And I'm 43% Nigerian. And they both started freaking out. They were so happy. However, the more Megan talked, the other one kind of picked up on it. Because if you're in that situation and you, you do your DNA, it will actually tell you what tribe you're from. And then two or three other things. And the other woman was quiet for 20, 30 seconds. And then she said, well, what tribe are you from? And what did Harry's wife say? Well, I'm doing more research to get into that now. Okay, so I, if you're only 25% black, how are you 43% Nigerian? And my math isn't great. And I, I was a financial analyst, but we do things differently. We don't do two plus two, and it's all different logistics. The other host picked up on it and really didn't say another word to Harry's wife. The other girl just laughed, laughed. That's how dumb Harry's wife thinks we are. That's how dumb Shannon Watt thought when I say you, not you, were, okay, hold on, Myra said something funny. That's exactly, oh my I have to pop out of the screen for a moment. Myra, I don't know if I really popped out. Myra, we do not make fun of people's appearance when they don't have a con have control of it. If they're chubby, call them fat. But if they have little cr scrawny lips, <laughs> Myra made a comment that if she had all that money, she would have a, had her, I don't remember, her lips done or boosted or something. How many videos? I've made 100 videos on Shannon Watts, probably not. But I always say that. I'm like, her lips, she has no lips. They're a little pencil. Meghan Markle has no legs. They're just toothpicks. See, you girls are getting me catty. See, I'm trying to uh, get into that. Maria, uh, so I've lost my train of thought. It is Whiskey Wednesday. We should really make a regular Whiskey Wednesday live. I don't think those children were allergic to squat. If you listen to the police interviews afterwards, and I don't know why I'm slamming my hand like that. See, I don't even know what you can see. I only have this little teeny square that only shows about this much of me. When Chris was talking to the police about the allergies, he made a comment. He said, well, I never saw them break out, but I saw photos. Well, I'm going to assume it's very easy to go online and find allergic reaction bug bite or something. And she sent it to him. Hey, Myra, I'm going to guess your lips look great. I have lots of things about me I don't like. I don't necessarily care for my lips. I don't have a double chin. But I'm getting these things. They're called gloss or jaws or something. But I think that's also my age. And I'm quite thin. If I gained weight, I... Okay, now I'm going the opposite way. Well, what the... F what was I even talking about? <laughs> okay. Get me back on track, kids. She used these children, the monsters, and I completely changed subjects. I get that. But think about the video where she's holding a bag of marshmallows. And she's all done up. Okay, Shannon was prettier without makeup than with makeup. I mean, she just was. Yes, she did need something with her lips. She had, she had no lips, and that's not really her fault. I love thrive. It's not really her fault. But she looked better without makeup. She looked like a, a two-bit whore, with, when, especially when she did herself all up. She's holding the marshmallows, saying, we're going to the zoo. They're monsters. And I'm sure many of you can tell me more. Hey, Maria, she wasn't laughing because of the BS. That was the way she farted. You know, most people... Women don't like to fart. I just read something funny about a, a woman who wrote 
Dear Abby, it's not Dear Abby anymore. But she said, I farted on this first date and I'm so horrified and I don't want to go out anymore. And Dear Abby made much fun of her. You know, I have a husband and a 12-year-old boy and I try not to fart. But man, if I feel a fart coming on and we're all together, I make sure they all hear it because they laugh. They think it's the funniest thing in the world. They start clapping. They're like, oh, she's human. And yes, later I walk away and I say, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I just intentionally farted. But it's fun. (laughs) Why did I even start, start talking about farting? She used those children. Marshmallows. We're going to the zoo. That's not Alba Arms. That's just, yeah. Do you know what we didn't see after the marshmallow pre-zoo photos? A single picture of a giraffe or a zebra or an orangutan or an ape. Maybe I got my itches wrong. She didn't go to the damn zoo. She was home. Think about the weekend she died. I'm wrong. The weekend she was murdered. She was murdered. She absolutely did not deserve what she got. Mary Hartsock. Hartsock. Thank you very, very kindly. I appreciate it. Mary just paid me a fine compliment. Chris had to take that Friday off of work, which is, ding, one vacation day. So that Shannon could be at the airport for an early morning flight for an event that did not start until 7.30 that night. So she probably could have got got a flight, gotten or got, English major here. She probably could have taken a flight. That's how you fix it. If you're not sure with your grammar, just change the whole word. That would have gotten her there a little bit prior or maybe right on time or even, God forbid, 10 minutes late. But no, she made her husband take an entire vacation day off. Another reason, the kids were out of school that day. School was closed for a teacher's work day. So how can Shannon let her husband go to work at 5.30 and then spend all day with the children? Oh, oh. And Chris was home around 3.30 or 4. And then get on an airplane and go sit and drink with my bimbo friends for a weekend? You're out of your mind for even thinking that. Oh my goodness. Chris Caspian, hello. I've missed you in my comments recently. But someone just said something that I picked up on. Oh. Sunny Sandy. Sunny Sandy, I assume, is referring... You know what, guys? Let's clean... See, this isn't the screen to you. It's the screen to me. Sunny Sandy said something about pictures of the children. Oh, Harry's wife. Where are the children? Uh, are Harry and Harry's wife children even real? Come on. She's got, there's so many photos where her bump is this big going in and it's the size of my pimple going out. Moon bump. Why is she hiding them? At this point, she could sell them. A picture for Harry's wife goes for about 5 k I bet pictures of those kids go for four times that. If you're from Rio Linda, four times five is 20. And only if you're a Rush Limbaugh fan will you ever get that. Uh, Sarah just said the same thing. So, Sarah, I struggle with your name because of Sarah Boone. You remember that chick who zipped her boyfriend in a suitcase? Nut job. It was not intentional. Not intentional. She doesn't even say intentional correctly. Her sentencing is going to be fun. And I am being dead serious. If she gets a real trial date, I I think I, I may go to the trial. I mean, for real. Go rent me a little... Two years ago, my kid lived down there. So I had already planned I was going to stay at her house. And then, you know, Sarah exclaimed to exclaimed or explained to her attorney that battered spouse syn- syndrome would be fine this wasn't her fault he couldn't unzip himself oh my goodness I'm going on a diatribe uh Jerry what are you talking about the flight tickets were cheap oh okay so I ta- I just said Shannon could have left Friday afternoon and made the event but instead she le- left Friday morning And Jerry said, because the flight tickets were cheaper, and ding, ding, ding. You guys, 
most of you have cash registers in your brain. I have the little old, like the typewriter, the old fashioned cash. Right. So her, and I'm making up the numbers. Her ticket was $196 round trip had she left at 5 p.m., but it was 136 if she left at 5 a.m. Jerry, ding, ding, ding. I wish I had the dinner bell out here. You win. And Danine, I love Sarah Boone. I may hang this one up and do another one just about Sarah Boone. It bothers me. Most of you guys are not interested in that. Again. Okay, so... Shannon absolutely did not deserve what she got. We've all said that, right? Everybody, no, yes, right, yes, okay. And everyone, no. But is there a single person even watching right now that would tell me they don't understand it? I mean, I don't understand it. But they don't maybe understand why Chris snapped. I believe the six weeks... Kara Lemoy, hello. I believe the six weeks, or the five weeks, Chris was gone prior to the murder, is when he started learning things. He never checked the mail. He wasn't home until 3.30. Now, the people on my mail route have their del mail delivered well before noon every day. If I'm running late, it may be around noon. But 3.30, Chris's mail was delivered. The wife took all of that. I almost guarantee you, Chris had no idea that she had a credit card with her parents that they co-signed. He had no idea their credit cards were oversold. It's the airline industry, over the limit. And I guarantee he had no idea they had not been paying the HOA for all these years. And then he asked her, and he asked her on the phone... Why are we being sued by the HOA? And what did she tell him? Well, I sent it to the wrong address for the last 14 months. Okay, so here's some professional opinion from the post office. Let's say that HOA, that building was on my route, and they changed to the building 123 Oscar Boulevard. Well, I get a notice from the post office for six months. Actually, it's a business. I get, a, I get notified for one year. It's a resident six months. But I, everything that comes in for HOA, I go, oh, it goes to 123 Oscar Boulevard. I still have forwards that are a year and a half past. But because I know what I'm doing, I just forward it. But Chris fell for that because he was stupid. I believe part of dragon chaser hang on I believe part of him was conflicted he had spent seven years with this woman believing everything and then all of a sudden he finds out just about everything she was saying was a lie dragon chaser just said is it possible that Shannon went away for so long to get away and so because she knew Chris was going to find out he was going to find out any day now my numbers aren't correct, but I believe on the day of her murder, they had $37 of available credit. From those five credit cards, add them all up, $37. You know what, Dragon? I had not thought about that. I apologize. Something in my eye. Oh. I have not ever thought about that. But my thing here, Dragon, if she sent him away for five weeks, was. Remember, he was gone for five, and then he joined them for the sixth. Well, she knew he was going to find out. Oh, my goodness. The more you say that, yes, he's going to walk into a vacation home where her parents are there. You're not going to start a big drama, or at least I believe her father was there the first three or four days, and then the mother came for the second half. Right? You're not going to start a drama. Dragon, you may be on to something. She believed he was so wrapped around her stupid little prime MLM finger. She may have been able to convince her with his lies. And I'm going to say, oh, guys, everyone say to hello to Michelle. She's from Australia. I can't do it. I have a brother-in-law from Australia, matey. 
And I don't know if the Australians use, use the loo, and I know they don't put their mouth like Popeye, but I do have a brother-in-law from Melbourne. So, And there's a town in Australia called Meredith, because I had a friend who lived in Australia, and when she would fly home to see her mother, they would drive 70 miles to go see this town, Meredith, and take a photo of it. Okay, Jerry, remind me in a second. See, I don't even remember where I was going with that. Jerry just said, oh, oh, Jerry doesn't think that Chris would have totally gone along with it because Chris did sign up perfectly for the first bankruptcy. Okay, within reason, I, I do agree with that. However, I don't think Chris really knew what was going on with anything. And anything. If you had to talk about oil and gas and fluffers and nighters, midsummer night, I'm already married, but thank you. Chris was 12 times more dynamic than all of us combined. I have 81 people here. Oh my goodness, thank you, God bless. I didn't even have 81 people at my baby shower <laughs> or my second wedding, which was a good thing. I don't know. I, I, Jerry, had he never met NK and then Shannon dropped all this, I believe you are correct. He would have was said, okay, honey, what do I have to do? Should I go start delivering pizzas for Domino's at night? I believe he would have fallen for it. But I, I do, the, the four weeks, Joan Henderson, hello from Mississippi. I used to own a home in, well, in Alabama. What's it called? Something, Gulf Shores. And there was that hurricane a decade and a half ago, and it wiped out our whole freaking house. So, so thanks a lot, Mary, for reminding me about my house that was taken away. Anyway, or Joan, I'm sorry. But I believe that those four, he, he met a woman who lived in her own apartment. And yes, Shannon lived in a great big giant house that was fully furnished and fully tackily furnished. I'm not sure if tackily is a word. Speaking of tacky, when Harry's wife first came on the scene, and I am not a style person at all. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a yacht t-shirt. and I, I sat there and I thought, whoa, I don't have any style. But someone needs to help this girl dress. Her shoes are too big. And now, six, seven years later, she's still... Why doesn't someone hire her a stylist? There's a channel, Beebs Kelly. I love her. Beebs went to finishing school. I'd like to just have a meeting with Beebs. What? Harry's wife is almost the worst dressed. Why, why did he even get start talking about clothing? Hmm. Oh, independent women. Oh, the big house. Oh, how tacky it was. So he met Shannon. Remember they had that fake break in if you guys if you don't know what i'm talking about leave me a message i'll do a quick, cute little video below about that or again later but nikki was different nikki had a job she had a dog she lived in a home that was lived in shannon's charlotte home looked like a model home I mean, she even had the stupid tray across the bathtub with the book in it that she wasn't reading that tacky, tacky. Um, Jerry's bringing up the money again. Thank you, Jerry. They were going to the home HOA. They had lawsuit for the HOA. So she was... I've been listening to a lot of John Gotti books lately. She was taken down. <laughs> she was murdered, I guess, August 16th or 15th. And their court date was a week the following Thursday. So another 10 days is. Okay, Maria, allowing one partner to control the finances can be a disaster, but not always. My husband controls the finances. I earn a little bit of money for myself. So it's not always. It totally depends on the dynamic. Oh, I have another Australian Lori, see, I don't know anything in Australia to say. 
Do your toilet pa- do your toilets really flush the wrong way? The symptom- Simpsons tell us that. Because below your the equator, I've never believed it. But Lori, let me know. Do your toilets go the other way? When my toilet flushes and I'm looking on it, I believe the water goes to the right. Go flush your toilet and let me know if it goes to the left. Uh, Teresa, hello. Thank you for the compliment. Debbie was a Chris that Shannon worked with who was married, but she was gorgeous. I love the way you spelled your name. I'm, maybe I said something wrong. I don't know who you're talking about. Um, Brooks, you're exactly correct. However, he was honest with Shannon that they had problems. He did tell her that. He said, we spend more than we bring in. He obviously, but I don't think that, excuse me, Chris even knew that they were three months behind on their mortgage and being sued by Chase, the mortgage person. Lori says it's 7.36 a.m. in Australia. Okay, well, Lori, hang on. We're going to check it out. Because I have a family member who lives in Australia, I do the world clock and look at that. Melbourne. 7.37 a.m. Lori ain't lying. Lori, go pee and let us know if your toilet is backwards. My goodness. Lori, if you were talking to Cindy and Ronnie, why did you cut off contact with them? Tell me, please. Pardon me. Oh, I didn't just fart. I just passed gas out the other way. If I really had it coming, I may do it. I, I've written a few cards to Ronnie and Cindy. My heart breaks for them. Cindy made some poor ex- comments in some of her interviews. The woman is dead. There's no reason to ex- you know, say how much you didn't like her. Hey, Myra, where are you? It's 437 at my house, too. You're obviously on the East Coast somewhere. But those people did nothing wrong, and they were just as shocked. And there's one thing I get so upset when people get mad about what Cindy said at the sentencing. Please remember the... Okay, well, Sonny's on the West Coast. Sonny, if you live where Gavin Newsom lives... God bless you. Let's all... Tonight when we go to bed, let's pray for Sonny. When Chris left his father in the... Inter- I don't know why I'm smacking my hands. That's not something I usually do. I'm a... I crack my fingers. Chris told his father that Shannon murdered the girls and then he reacted the way he had to. Well, his father, who had known him 35, 36 years at that point, for the most part had never lied to him, had no reason to believe he was lying. And if, as he's sitting in his hotel room that night in Frederick, Colorado, sitting there going, you know what? I find it hard to believe what happened. But, man, that makes sense. We've watched this world. I'm sorry. I, I got it. Excuse me. We've watched this woman for eight years be nuts to him. And Ronnie built it up in his head, and he flew back home to North Carolina, and he told his wife that. And his wife had many, many more uncomfortable experiences. Though last week, Shannon was in that house... Cindy could have had her arrested for assault. Shannon charged her. She ran 15 feet down a hallway and charged Cindy. Well, in North Carolina and the Commonwealth of Virginia, that is legally an assault. Cindy could have picked up the phone. She chose not to. Green-Eyed Bandit, nice to see you as well. Kimberly, Outer Banks, we were just there um, a few weeks ago. Had a fabulous time. Oh, my goodness. Quick Outer Banks story. The husband got me the watch for Valentine's Day. In our Outer Banks home, we all had our own bedrooms and our own bathrooms. I drank a little bit too much one night. I'd taken my jewelry off and I set it down. I got up the next day and I could only find my rings and my bracelet. And I spent the entire day telling a family, Hey, I can't find my watch. Look for my watch. We were leaving the next day. And I'm still, you guys, where is my watch? We had been to the beach. I knew it was here. 
and I'm taking the trash out, and I threw the two kitchen bags in the dumpster, and I only had the bag for my trash can left. And as I was throwing it, I stopped and went, let me check. Opened it, I started pulling one thing out at a time, and what did I find? My fucking Tissot watch. I almost dropped that much money. Oh, anyway. Let's see, what the hell was I even talking about? You, uh, North Carolina woman, y'all got me messed up. Gotcha, 70. I don't know how much you've watched me. I do a lot on her, Munchausen. I'm happy to do more. I won't do it live. I mean, we're at 40 minutes. I have to start shutting this down. So, chit-chat for a minute. Tell me what you're thinking. 40 minutes is sort of long, guys. We would like other people to watch this. Um, Maria and Gorgeous are talking about something. No. Her name was Shannon. S-H-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N. I want to look it up. Because I have seen the tombstone. Shannon Watts Tombstone. Okay, I will tell you. It's slightly... Presentus? What's, pres, what's, to me, it's, it's a, a little over the top. But had my family been murdered, I probably would have done the same thing. I would have put a big Dallas Cowboys star at the top of it. Ha ha. But no. Okay, at the front of it says, oh, no, it doesn't. A different one. It's her parents did it the other way. Shannon Ruzik. Meanwhile, her parents called her Shannon the entire time. Even at the sentencing, her parents called her Shannon. Nice double standard. Her name was Shannon. Put... I'm getting upset about what's on a woman's gravestone. I'd rather that not been on the gravestone. It would have been nice. Green Eye Band is complimenting. I got 93 people watching. It would have been awesome had she been able to lift her knee up and slice his balls in half. But that didn't happen. So we have to be relaxed. D.C. Hey, D.C. I live in D.C. Well, I live about seven miles of that way. If you were a bird. Okay, I am going to shut this down. Maria, I know it's not a legal document. But I know for a fact... People go and visit that tombstone the same way they go visit. Well, I went to see Jim Morrison's tombstone in Paris, and I wasn't the only one. It sort of still surprises. Well, I don't know. No, I. If my kid watches this, she'll probably make a will. But if my daughter were to drop dead tomorrow, I would probably write Joseph on her tombstone. I may write Joseph Ashley. But, well, this is something different. So, I do have to shut this down, but Brooks is on here and I've also known Brooks for a few years. <laughs> Miss Menza. Do you guys remember her? I liked her. I thought she was great. But she contradicted herself one time and I made a video about it. And in the video, I happened to speak about how I had some serious health issues health challenges but mine were different I mean mine were real I have 36 inches of scars on my six pack abs 52 year old six pack abs just do push ups that's all you have to do start on your knees just do push ups I'm serious man it keeps your alba arms low it's so awesome for your core but Miss Minza made an entire video just to me saying what a liar I was. I had no idea what health challenges were. So, of course, you know, I had to do a rebuttal. And my screenshots, just a photo of my abs with all my scars. And then I chit-chatted. It was a two-minute video. And she blocked me and still called me a liar. <laughs> I liked Miss Minza. She had good info. Okay. Debbie. There was no official embezzlement charge. However, the man who owned Dirty South was getting concerned. How is his 21, 22-year-old assistant making a half a million dollars a year? Being 
the office manager. Mary Hartsock. I like that name. Hartsock? Hartsock. I like that. Well, I like socks, though, too. Saying I need... Okay, Mary, we're going to start doing a regular Whiskey Wednesday Live at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Gorgeous. Her name is Jessica, but she likes to be spelled. Okay, everybody get your pencil and paper ready because it's going to make you crack up. You know how you have Kimberly, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-E-I-G-H? Jessica is J-E-S-Y-C-H apostrophe H. Jessica. <laughs> I like that. That's the best one ever. Best one ever. Um, Byron just said the embezzlement was because she was lying to customers about credit card signups. Byron's probably correct. I only know that they were getting concerned. Maria, give your two cents all you want. Maria's saying, I can be a hater, but she can't. Maria, let me see if I can go up and find out what you said. How does one get called a hater? Oh. Maybe Maria's still on my side. If you disagree with me, say it. I'm not even going to delete your comment. You can tell me how ugly I am. I have fish lips. Um, oh, people talked about how nasty my teeth were. Well, in 1978, we didn't have dental insurance, and my parents couldn't afford to get me braces, and I didn't technically need them. Bash me all you want. This is America, and that's what made us strong and proud, and so, goodness. Um, Byron, Byron, Brian, Brian, my uh, dyslexia that I have sometimes, but Brian, you just said she did not buy her first home. I have never seen that anywhere. I have read, I have seen the statements. I think she purchased it for three forty nine, dollars and she sold it. For three sixty-eight, a little bit less than twenty grand. However, she left it fully furnished, and it did have fifty thousand dollars of furniture in it. VG, it's wonderful to see you. I always look for you on the lawyer we know. One more, Chef Salty Balls. My husband was like, "You have a commenter, Chef Salty Balls." I looked at him. And I was like, "Yeah." He doesn't like pepper. <laughs> it made him laugh, so. Oh, my goodness. Jerry says my eyebrows are okay. Do you know what, Jerry? I want to go spend the money to have them weaved. I'm fortunate. I was going to say, I'm fortunate. I rarely have to pluck them. But maybe that's the problem is I should be plucking them. Okay, guys. We are um, gorgeous. I fully believe the sugar daddy helped fund the first house. Brian, I believe she did buy it legally. But I also believe she was, um, okay, if you're doing something, you may want to look. Doing something to help Salty Balls. Salty Balls. See, Salty Balls, I've in, in, included you in this murder to involve Dirty South. Okay, you guys, um, Salty Balls, my husband probably doesn't even know about South Park. That's something the kid and I can... Remember, my husband is nine years older than I am. So that's part of the reason the 12-year I get along so well. We have that bond. I live on iFunny every day. I think iFunny is the greatest site ever. Okay, we have to shut this down. We're nearing 50 minutes. Objection overruled. Amen. It flashes me back to the Amber Heard trial. I'm going to shut this down, you guys. Every Wednesday, 4 o'clock. Let's do a live stream, topic or not. But keep your fingers crossed, and there'll be a really great murder in the next seven days. If you're still watching, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, all that bullshit. Thank you so much. And Joan Henderson, I absolutely will go smoke a little. I think marijuana is a blessing to the Lord, or from the Lord. Okay, you guys, I am shutting this down. I just have to figure it out. Look at me. Oh, my gorgeous flocks. Thank you all. Stephanie, thank you. Gorgeous. Maria, the most. Thank you. Okay, guys, make sure you leave your comments after this. 